When you walk into a hotel in a venue, there's a certain feeling, and if you don't feel that feeling, you just know that it's not the right one. We found Hyatt Lost Pines, and the minute that we arrived, I knew that this is where we had to have Austin leadership. Taking our attendees somewhere super secluded, I just knew that we could create a different type of experience than we've had in the past year. One of the awesome things about this resort is the landscape where you can have some time with yourself. There's some farms outside where there are llamas and horses, there's a butterfly garden, a ton of hiking to do, a ton of walking around to do, some things to enjoy outside which I think is really special and one of the things that made us want to come to this hotel. Part of the planning process is tapping into our creative juices, thinking about how can we create this atmosphere for you. Things like the check-in experiments, starting to create that bond right off the bat when you get off the bus. It's a chance for people to learn about themselves and about each other outside of the general session room. That's one of the most exhilarating parts of the event, is creating something from scratch. Don't stop and keep on moving. When I approach an event, the first thing that I do to figure out the branding is get a sense of the place where it's held and the content of the conference. Austin's like very eclectic and their slogan is keep Austin weird. I had really interesting instructions. For example, well there's butterflies all over the resort so try to incorporate butterflies, but not cheesy butterflies. Try to incorporate like earth tones, but make it funky. I was really drawn to some of the classic Texas things about it. So the longhorns are incorporated into the invitation. They're like really amazing creatures and very Texas feeling. Incorporating the butterfly with the longhorns made like an incredible focal point and a beautiful motif. This third eye concept came to mind in the center of the butterfly, which in many cultures is representative of enlightenment. I think that the main thing of these conferences is to have like these enlightened moments, knowing that if you get weird, you can then be more innovative and inspired in your job. Right now we're at the entrance of ballroom one, two, three. This is where the actual stage will be created and will be built. Right now it's like blank canvas. We are only loading in the risers. Uh, behind it is where we bring out all the decor, all the AV. In less than 72 hours, this complete ballroom will be transformed with all the elements that we bring in to be able to create the stage design. In that this hotel is built over a 13 acre forest. When we walked in, the first thing we noticed is the butterflies in the ceiling and the butterfly wing pattern on the floor. That gave us the idea of bringing a little bit of the outdoor feeling into the ballroom. I think as the group has expanded and growing, we've decided to move into a tier seating. Guests are sitting in here for multiple hours, so we want to make sure that they're comfortable, making the room feel a little more intimate, and being able to have like a better conversation between the audience and the speaker. Seeing your dream come true, like we work on this for like three, four months with Marketing Comp, with the set team, and see that come together in one unique setting, I think that's like the most fulfilling feeling that we get when we walk into the room and it's set for the attendees. As soon as the conference ends, we are always on the hunt for the next one. So we read about five different books. We have a ton of different ideas and inspirations from films and plays. So it definitely is a different challenge for us, pulling from so many different sources, trying to create one message. It's a long process. It's kind of like a big puzzle. On index cards, we'll put main topics that we've seen, different patterns that we've seen. What concepts can we build on from other conferences? What are new things that we can bring in and how can we challenge our people? It's natural to get stuck in your day to day and these conferences are an opportunity for all of us to step outside of that and to leave with new energy and push forward through the challenges that we all face at power. And while we generally know what it's going to turn into, we really don't. A lot of it depends on our people. You know, how much will they interact with it? How much are people willing to stand up and raise their hand and participate? And where will that discussion take us? And that's why we put so much effort and time and long nights into creating the best conference that we can.